Hi everyone, my name is Gail. I'm a researcher here at Clinic Kids, and in today's 60 Second Science, we're talking about um, a trial that looked at the effects and safety and tolerability of an antidepressant called mirtazapine um, for children on the autism spectrum with co-occurring anxiety. So we know that anxiety is the most common co-occurring condition for people on the autism spectrum across the lifespan. And autistic people and their families repeatedly have identified that it is a high research priority to investigate um, safety and efficacy of different kinds of treatments that will help um, target the symptoms of anxiety. So the trial that we've linked to you today is a small pilot study of metazapine, which is a type of an antidepressant that has some anxiolytic or anxiety relieving properties. And um, while there have been um, different kinds of trials for different kinds of antidepressants and some in metazapine, um, uh, there haven't been um, any large studies um, and there haven't been a lot in the younger age range either. So this study is really the first to really look at um, a reasonable sample size to look at safety and tolerability of this drug to then decide whether or not it's, um, there is evidence to support a larger clinical trial. Um, and in this study, what the researchers did was they looked at children aged between five to 17 years of age and randomly assigned them to receive either metazapine or placebo. And there were 20 children in the metazapine group and 10 in the placebo group. Now, the main takeaway from this study is really that it was safe and tolerable for all children in the study. There were no significant adverse events in the trial and uh, no significant differences in the rates of side effects observed in either of these groups. Um, when they looked at whether there was any preliminary efficacy for the medication, they did find that there was a hint that 47% um, of children in the metazapine group did seem to um, uh, be much improved or improved compared to um, before they started the drug. Um, and that was compared to 20% of children in the placebo group. Um, but this wasn't really reflected in the parent reported symptom measures. So um, the main uh, takeaway from this is really that there's some evidence that this might be safe and tolerable for treating anxiety symptoms, but a really large randomized controlled trial needs to be done now to determine whether there's evidence for efficacy in treating anxiety symptoms for young people on the autism spectrum. So if you're interested in this research, please visit, visit the link in the video description.